Hey, my fish. 5th of April, 2019. And this Israeli Moonlander has brought my attention again. A uh, lot going on, folks. Don't get me wrong here. I mean, there are so many things right now that uh, really are pretty critical. A lot of things happening. A lot of spiritual happenings going on, really. It's funny when they met here. Look at this. The four horsemen on top of the clock. And the clock's at 11.16. Turn that upside down. But there's a whole lot going on. But I was literally led back to this Israeli moon lander thing again. It has been captured by the moon. The pioneering Israeli lunar lander, Bereshit, in the beginning. And it came upon me. I went to their, uh, their tweeter, okay? And they've left a, a couple of them out lately. There's so much to this. this. This right here is a huge ritual being pulled off by the synagogue of Satan. This is just nothing more than a giant deception. But it's a spiritual deception. Deceiving the world into believing the lie. Okay, this is all this is. This began. This is what came to me this morning. This uh, Bereshit blasted off. On the 22nd of February, there we go. Oh, that's a different one there. Where are we at here? There's February 22nd. Successful launch this morning. Bereshit has reached 69,000 kilometers, okay? The 22nd, 222, two, two, Genesis, Bereshit, in the beginning. Genesis 222 two, two, uh, speaks about the woman, all right? The adulteress. All right, it, it launched on 221 in the United States. It was 222 in Israel. The Lord God caused deep sleep to fall on him, and he took out one of his ribs out of his side. Okay, now this is when he made the woman, but remember when Jesus was crucified, they pierced his side, just like the rib came out of Adam's side, and Jesus is the last Adam. When, when the woman the adulteress, because that's what it means. I mean, literally, the adulteress, a woman, okay? When the woman transgressed and then Adam ate as well, that transgression on Adam's behalf had to be done in order to save the future of the woman who would be the mother of all men, right? That's why Adam did it. If God didn't do that, then all would have been lost, okay? And that was Satan's plan. But God did do that, and then he put the enmity between the seeds, okay? And then everything happened by all the way up to the flood. Then you had Noah. Noah had his children. And Ham is the important one here because when this mission ends, okay, Ham begat Cush, and Cush begat Nimrod. Nimrod was the mighty hunter, okay? This little mission here is going to end, an end on April 11th, according to their little video here, which is just beyond bizarre, you guys. I mean, this is just the weirdest little video. Uh, I'll link their Twitter here for you to go see. But they, the kids, all this bizarreness. But when you get to the end of this thing, the sad thing is, is most of these people don't know even that they're being deceived. You know what I'm saying? And now, on 11-4 is when Israel makes history, right? Well, the first rebellion was when the serpent beguiled the woman, right? Adam partook in order to create a redemption method for God to save us. That's This is where it all began. Why do you think when they punctured Christ's rib for his side, the blood and the water came out? Well, if we go... And where they say they're going to end their mission here, 11-4. And I'm like skipping over a ton of stuff because there's a ton of stuff to this. I'm just pointing out to you that this is the rebellion. This is this huge ritual that is meaningful, particularly in the spiritual aspect. If you're not in Christ, then this is more or less just like, it, this craziness. You, you don't even understand what I'm talking about, I'm sure. That's why it's so important that you seek out the truth of Jesus Christ. Just understand you're a sinner. 
that you cannot overcome the darkness of this world on your own. You can't. You need a savior. And it's, it's not going to be any man, any politician or king other than King Jesus. That's all there is to it. But look at this. 11.4. Genesis. Bereshit in the beginning. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Okay? Genesis 11, 4. This is what this is. I'm telling you. And then this one this morning, I'm sorry, but I got to mention this before I go. This is supposed to be Bereshit taking a picture of the moon. And this is supposed to be the earth in the background of the moon. They give it to you right here in their own video. Watch as this little girl here is looking out the window. See, she's looking out the window at the moon, right? And look at the size of the moon compared to this. This is the moon from Earth. It's huge. This is the Earth from the moon? Are you kidding me? This is the deception, folks. I'm just telling you. And this spiritual warfare spills into the natural world, and it's ugly. It's ugly. If you're not in Christ, there's no escape for you, no matter what you try. So, I hope you know him. That's the bottom line. So I needed to share this with you. Hope to get back on here later with some more stuff. There is some insane things going on. And it's interesting that it's taking exactly, it's not taking eight weeks like they said. Okay? This is going to take exactly seven weeks. Seven sevens. It's, it's just all part of it, folks. It's all part of the ritual. It's all part of it. From 222 to 411, 49 days, seven sevens. It's a ritual. I don't know what will transpire. It's spiritual in nature, but it manifests in the natural. And sometimes we don't see, we don't really put the two together as far as, you know, forensically with all these things. But it's there if you have the eyes to see it. So, you know, heads up, keep looking up. Peace and grace to y'all. And fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,